bugged my mess. It's time to clean it up. I don't want to, but let's do it. Hello friends, welcome back. It's me, Miley. Sorry, you can probably hear my very loud laundry in the background, but get used to it, because today we're cleaning. So a little backstory on <laughs> what my life has been like the past couple of weeks, okay? Excuse me, I'm propping you up in the bathroom. So, if you don't know, which by the way, my hair is half dry, because I literally just got out of the shower. I had not washed my hair in probably a week, and if that's not indicative of how my week has been going then whatever but it's the weekend i have two days off from rehearsal <sighs> hallelujah i am in white christmas at our local community theater which you know is a very special place to eric and i we got married there and my whole family's done shows there my entire life for generations before me blah 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 it's a very awesome special place i love it we are going into opening week so we've been rehearsing like crazy pretty much every single night, long hours, very tiring. It's a very involved show. I'm dancing so much in it. It's just physically exhausting. This coming week is probably gonna be the worst because we have one, two, oh, my laundry's done. One, two, three, four rehearsals until opening when we start performing for audiences. So it's just gonna be stressful. It's gonna be really hard on my body. We're gonna be running the whole show multiple times with full makeup, full costumes. I have like eight or nine costume changes. Some of them are super fast. Anyway, all this to say I'm exhausted and I've been exhausted. I'm excited for the show. I'm having a great time. I'm loving it. But if you've never been in a show before, then you might not know how physically exhausting it is. Um, so the reason I'm telling you all that and giving you that backstory is because my house is a disaster zone, okay? And yes, I am gonna show you my real life. It's very embarrassing because I've just let my house go because it's just not, you know, a priority right now. Rehearsal's a priority. But I want to go into this opening week, week that's coming up in a couple of days, in a really good headspace, in a clean, nice, put back together house. And also my dad is coming home. So he's been in New York for the past, oh gosh, a long while, just two weeks before the rest of my family comes home for a week for Thanksgiving. So um, I wanna make sure his bathroom's clean, his room's clean, everything's good and ready for him to come home too. So um, we've got a lot to do today. We've got a clean bathrooms, my bathroom. My bathroom is probably the worst offender, you guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you in just a second, but clean bathrooms, tidy the living room, clean the kitchen. I'm gonna do some other like random stuff like laundry's going. I wanna move over my summer and winter wardrobe, switch them out, um, cause not all my clothes fit in the closet I have to share with Eric. <sighs> so annoying. Um, I want to reorganize some books. I'll show you that in a second. So just like a bunch of stuff on the to-do list, a nice reset, get ready for the week, and hopefully have a really good week. And also I have an alternative reason for wanting to tidy the house that I'll also be accomplishing today, but you're gonna have to wait to see what that reason is. <laughs> but can you guess from the excitement on my face what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you better subscribe because the next video is gonna be very exciting. So that's another thing before we get started. Don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and we can only do it with your help. So can you take 0.5 seconds, click that red subscribe button and come along. Okay, now without further ado, let me show you my very embarrassing mess. <laughs> Hashtag real life. So first of all, this is my bedroom. Um, my bed is not made because I literally just got out of it like 30 minutes ago. Pippa is still in it. Esme is still in it. She is that lump right there. Kylo's over here straight chilling. As you can see from my bedside table, there's my headache machine. Down here is my heating pad and my comfy house shoes um, and lots of cords. We gotta take care of that situation. Um, over here, all the dogs' toys, some Eric shoes, an Eric Coke. My office is not bad, actually. My office is pretty well done, but okay, what I wanna do over here is I want to color code all these books because it just drives me nuts that they're not color coded, especially because in my office over here, you can't see very well, but all those are color coded, so I just kinda want it to tie in better. Okay, and then the bathroom. Oh, 
You guys, it's so bad. Look at that. Look at all those drinks. Hi, yay, yay. And yes, I am in my Mickey Mouse PJs. I threw on an actual shirt because, you know, <sighs> vlogging. But, um, wow, it's so bad. So this is just the untidiness, but like, look. I hate, there's a random shoe. I hate this tile because it literally shows every tiny bit of hair. Like, you wouldn't believe it, but I vacuumed and mopped this last weekend. And it just doesn't last. Like, it's just so much hair. So much hair. Okay, then we've got the dog slash laundry room. Like, look how bad that is. It's been kind of rainy here, so they've just been tracking in all kinds of mud and stuff. Um, so I need to tidy this room. The bathroom's not too bad at all, just the floor, really. And it's only because we've had some gatherings and people over, and this is the guest bathroom. So I need to clean this and tidy it because it's my dad's bathroom, really. His room is pretty well done. In fact, I don't even think I need to do anything in here. I already put his laundry in and did his laundry that was left. Um, but I washed these sheets. Um, we had a friend come and stay probably about a month ago. And so I washed them after he um, stayed and no one else has used this bed since. So this room is probably totally fine. Nothing to do in here. Living room's pretty okay, really. I just need to zhuzh the um, couch and put that blanket away. But um, <laughs> uh, can you tell what surprise is coming in the next vlog? <laughs> and then, wow, the kitchen is just so bad. Yikes. Look at all those dishes over there. Wow. So needless to say, we've got a lot to do. And if you're wondering where Eric is, he actually, long story short, when we moved, we're both used to being able to register, like re-register our address to vote online, getting our cards in the mail, whatnot. Because we moved back to Shawnee, you have to like fill out a paper form and take it to the Pottawatomie County um, election board and do all this paperwork that we just simply did not do before voting season. So we are absolute good citizens that always, always, always vote. So long story short, Eric is still registered in Yukon. I'm still registered in Oklahoma City. So he went to early vote in Yukon today. That's where he is. So that's going to be the majority of his day because it's an hour drive there and back. And then I'm going to go early vote probably on Monday. Maybe I'll just vote on Tuesday. Anyway, go vote. Exercise your right as a human citizen in this country. Go do it. We need your vote. Anyway, soapbox off, but I don't even know where I want to start. I'm not in the mood, but I need to get myself in the mood because happier things are coming if I finish this job quickly, you know what I'm saying? So let's do it. I think let's go start in the bedroom, okay? Let's do it. Oh, hello. It's a voiceover Miley here. And I'm just going to apologize up front in this voiceover because there are probably some weirdo background noises. It's because Scrimpy is deep cleaning our carpets. So you know what? I'm not gonna tell him to stop because you know, it's the joy of my heart when he cleans things. So enjoy this lovely cleaning montage of me doing all kinds of crap, like sorting my laundry and moving my summer wardrobe and bringing in my winter wardrobe, which is what I'm doing right now. I forgot how many winter clothes I have. <laughs> I love my winter wardrobe so much better. Winter is my favorite season. I hate the summertime. I don't really like fall super a lot. I love the weather of fall, but I just... I don't know, it's overhyped to me, but winter's my jam. Okay, so my winter wardrobe is clearly a lot more, um, heavy. Hope it stays on <laughs> this rack. But the way I have it organized is, um, I have it color-coded by sections. So I have two-piece sets color-coded. I have sweatshirts color-coded. I love me a good sweatshirt. T-shirts color-coded. And then tops and sweaters all color-coded. So... That's that! And I've got these laundry piles ready to go. Oh my gosh. Yasmin loves when the bed is made. I'm gonna throw some laundry in. I switched it just now but didn't have anything to throw in. That's why I sorted real quick. Um, so I'm gonna throw one of these piles in and then I'm gonna clean. So let's clean in the bedroom and bathroom. Okay, I don't know if I've talked about this on a clean with me video before, so stop me if I have. But I hate cleaning this bathroom. 
mostly because it's just so light. Like everything is so light. The floors, the counters, the appliances, like appliances. Is that what that's called? Like the toilet and the bathtub? I don't know. Anyway, it's just so light that it shows every tiny little mess. And it's just really freaking annoying because I feel like it's never clean, even though I clean it all the freaking time. And you guys know we have cleaners as well. They only come once a month though because their schedule is just too busy to come how we'd prefer, which is every other week. Um, hopefully we'll get on their every other week schedule eventually, but <laughs> who knows? Once a month is fine for now and I just pick up the slack in between. So does Eric. Eric cleans too. All right, bathroom's done, bedroom's done. Esme still hasn't left that spot. So now, Let's move on to the laundry disgusting dog floor and the guest bathroom. Let's get to cleaning. Keep it going. Like I've talked about many times before on this vlog, our house is dated. It's very, very well maintained and taken care of over the years. It was built in the 80s. But bathrooms are like the number one inside thing on my list that I would change. Wait, that's not true. I feel like trim and doors are the very number one thing that I would change. But bathrooms are definitely second just because these are really outdated looking bathrooms. And honestly, it would be pretty simple to update them because they're in such good shape. Like the, the bones are good. It would just be really cosmetic stuff. Oh, and here's me sorting books. I love, love, love books. First of all, just putting them everywhere. And I love color coding them just because I think it looks fun and pleasing to the eye. So I did these to match my office books. Okay, that is much better to me. I like them to be kind of messy and not um, like length sorted, but I love them when they are sorted by color. Brings me happiness in my heart. Okay, now let's fold some laundry. Um, okay, now I'm doing laundry. So this, I believe, is a mixture of my dad's laundry that he left. I always like to do his laundry before he comes back. Um, yes, he is definitely capable of doing his own laundry, but I just like to help him out. So, And I'm doing some of Eric's laundry, so just folding all that and putting it away. And I love doing laundry. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but laundry is just like one of my favorite chores because you can kind of just zone out and do it. I love the sorting. I love the accomplishment of putting things away. I just love it. And I can just plug in a YouTube video and, you know, watch away while I mindlessly sort and put away the laundry. All right, welcome to the living room where all I really have to do is just the couch. I finally caved and put my hair up because I'm freaking hot. <laughs> I just get so hot cleaning. Okay, anyway, so let's judge the living room and then go tackle that mess in there. In case you're wondering, judging the couch just involves punching it like so. <laughs> you know, fluffing them up. All right, I'm in my very messy kitchen. So we've got, first of all, that's Eric's problem. That's not my problem. If you guys don't know, we split chores around here. I do laundry, he does dishes. So I'm just gonna make sure all the dishes land in the sink and leave them for his problem later. Um, but there's like trash and crap all over our counter. Just surfaces need to be wiped down. Like, look at this. Ew. 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 disgusting so yeah let's just friggin get to it okay let's let's go okay I want to tell you about the ridiculous way that I have to clean our island countertop and stovetop as you can see our island is like tiled so it's grouted and so it just gets so messy and annoying to clean so I literally disinfect everything with Clorox wipes then I um uh, use this like soft scrub countertop cleaner that's like really heavy duty on the stovetop and then I go back and Windex over everything to like de-streak it all so it's a process. All right friends. What up nerds? I am done and Eric just came in and made a giant mess on the counter. I also tracked footprints all across the floor. You know? You're really gonna remop that right? Sure. Did you tell him what I've been up to? Yes I did. I voted. Good for you. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe because the actual exciting part, sneak peek back there of this weekend clean with me slash something more exciting in the next video um, is coming up in the next video. So 
don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it because it's going to be holly and jolly you know what i'm saying don't forget to like this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye